Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're doing January Friday for today's second video, so it's on sort of Friday. Have a look at weather for month ahead. It's going to get us well into February. Uh, I should get on that for you very shortly. Just say that the first video you see was our 6 a.m. upload. Uh, we've also uh, got the 10 to 14 there uh, with all of the features coming to later on this afternoon. And we'll be live streaming at 10 o'clock tonight, so I shall see you live then. Please like, share, subscribe on the video, so thank you so much everybody. Uh, for doing that, right, going to start off with the week one, uh, 500 millibar high to normally, taking us from today, 21st through to, no, 14th through to 21st of uh, January, uh, it's from the North Pole and Arctic view down, so this is the North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere just here, the wider Arctic circle around there, and the mid latitudes around here. So blue is extrapolated to below average heights, which is low pressure, yellow, orange and red to above average heights, which is high pressure, coming week is dominated by high pressure, sitting over and to west of the country with below average heights to our north and east and the jet stream and wind flow on a northwest southeast alignment. So plenty of anticyclonic weather in the week ahead, um, which one will probably say is mild, but actually on the surface it could be colder with a risk of frost and fog through inversion. Into uh, week two, which will be the 21st, 28th of uh, January, we have the above average heights again over and to the west of the country, below average heights to our north and east. And again, the wind and jet flow, uh, you know, wind flow and jet stream on, on a northwest southeast alignment. Um, could be a little bit more unsettled, perhaps, for northern areas, and possibly a little bit colder as well. Some very slight amplification in the North Atlantic. A lot of dry weather for southern and western areas, though. And then we go through the weeks three and four, which takes us from the 28th of January to the 11th of February, with the above average heights to our west. And uh, also to our southwest, the below average heights to our north and northeast. And again, the winds are coming in from a west or northwesterly uh, direction. So, probably turning more unsettled as we go along. And milder generally, maybe one or two cooler interludes. But certainly nothing particularly cold here. There's no northern blocking. Looks pretty flat. Um, just a little bit of amplification there in the North Atlantic. This is the tropical and mid-latitude view. So the British Isles and Island in the top right-hand corner of the chart. As you're looking at it, a, a reminder uh, of the weak one. Just say so that you can't see the Arctic and North Pole. Those areas are off the uh, chart up here. A uh, reminder of that uh, week one, 500 millibar height on the again for high pressure right over top of the country and out into the Atlantic. So temperature on the forecast being by the average in the north, a little bit colder than average down in the south and uh, over much of continental Europe as well. Uh, it's also a dry week, of course, as you'd expect with high pressure in control from the 14th to 21st of January. Uh, week 2 looks like that. It's the 21st, 28th of January for high pressure again pulled out just to our west. Um, average temperatures, certainly nothing particularly uh, cold or overly mild doing just close to normal. It's a little, a little bit cold on average just to our south, however. Uh, and still largely on the dry side uh, as well. Not as dry as it is in week one, but nevertheless still, you know, certainly not unsettled anyway. Um, then week three and four takes high pressure a little bit further southwards into the Atlantic. Probably starts to bring some rather more unsettled weather back in from the 28th of January to the 11th of February. Uh, we go in mind of an average there. Uh, temperature anomaly is going above average and the precipitation anomaly goes uh, wetter than normal, especially to more northern and western areas. Right, so that's the JMA done. Let's have a look at surface V2, see how that compares. These are 500 millibar heights again. Break down to week period. So first week period takes from the 14th, 20th of January. The coming week again is dominated by high pressure over and to the west of the country. We go through the week uh, to good agreement with the JMA and CFS here. It's 21st, 27th of January. High pressure pulls out into the... Atlantic Ocean, and uh, we're bringing in like a northwesterly. Notice this trough of low in the eastern part of America. That brings some really cold weather potentially down the eastern side of America. Uh, for us, you know, there might be a little cold interlude in there. Might be a little bit of amplification uh, or enough amp amplification in the Atlantic to just bring in a little bit of a cold snap from the north. But overall, nothing really doing uh, from a cold perspective. Into week three, it's the 28th of uh, January to 3rd of February. High pressure again in the Atlantic. Low pressure to our north winds in from the northwest southeast uh, traje uh, trajectory and, and alignment. Um, yeah, it might be a little bit of a colder uh, into the cold snap in there somewhere, but overall it's not a particularly cold signal whatsoever. 
And then uh, week four is a flat as a pancake. It's a four to the 10th of February with high pressure. Just going that a little bit further south was low pressure out Iceland and Greenland. And so we're reverting then into a proper zonal flow, which would be very spring-like and bring plenty of rain, but also really mild temperatures. Uh, week one, temperature only 14th, 20th of January, a little bit cold average in the south, a little bit warmer than average in the north, a mild average in the north. Uh, week two is the 21st, 27th of January, uh, around to a little bit above average with temperatures. Week three is also milder than average, or goes increasingly mild, 28th of January to 3rd of February. And week four carries it all on, it's the 4th to the 10th of February, and again, it's significantly milder than uh, normal precipitation wise it's drier than average for week one 14th 20th of january very dry actually in week uh week two a little bit more unsettled 21st 27th of january slightly above average rain from the north uh driving as show down in the south turns a more unsettled week three 28th of january to 3rd of february it's like wet and average in northern areas and then by week four it's wet and average in all areas from the 4th to the 10th of February. So increasingly unsettled, mild, wet, windy weather into uh, February. Certainly not cold. Uh, and probably taste of spring. Get the daffodils up in uh, early February. Right, that's it for Germany Friday then. Uh, just a snapshot of what Mars is showing. Could look very different next week, but I doubt it. Uh, with that very short, we get 10 to 14 down. We include all our red features. Come back for that then. For Germany Friday for this week, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.